Here's the way I remember that. Tape. You, you That's put it right, right there, like just this. like that. You get onto me. Like this. <laughs> like, hold hand. your hand out. Boom. Boom. Right, right in there. In your hand. Yep. Yeah. Not hand it to you like oh this. Oh, my God. I don't want to have to take my eyes off the horse. Yeah. Put it in my hand. Yep. Absolutely. I remember that. So, yeah. What are you going to show me? Well, this kind of deal here, I think it's just really good for a horse's mind. I have not done this with this two-year-old. But, of course, when you sit up above them, that's really good for them. That's what you're, where you're going to be when you're in the saddle. But, again, I'm just going to try to get this horse to get up next to me. He may not understand what it is that I'm doing. So I get him to move his feet there. And, and again, I'm just rubbing him with the flag. And I am going to have to be a little patient. But I want to just get where he'll just come up next to me here. Over here. Good. And, and, and don't get in a hurry with this. I'm just looking for a little movement here. A little movement. A little movement. There. Right there. Oh, that's perfect. See, now I'm just petting on the horse. Pretty soon, someday I'll be able to get him to get right up next to me. I can mount from here. It's just another breakthrough, another way to communicate with this horse. And pretty soon, pretty soon you're going to step up on something high. They won't avoid you. They'll just come right into you, make it easy to get on. So I think it's just good for their mind and good for their little brain. Sure, as long as we're sitting here, let me show you one other cool thing. Look, when you tie this knot right here, guys, don't tie it up here. Tie it this way. I'm going to take this long part, come toward his eye without hitting him in the eye, and then bring it back. If there's excess, I tuck it in here, like that. So that way, if he sits back and gets tight, all I got to do is push it down to get it unloosed. Now let me show you one other thing. And these are the good Craig Cameron halters. You notice I never use a snap. I don't like a snap. One of the advantages of a rope halter is it's one continuous piece of rope, so there's nothing to break. So if I use a heavy snap, it's heavy, the horse is toy with it, play with it, and it's the weak link. So here, let me show you how to tie it on. It's simple. Go in the hole, around the hole, and out the hole. And that's it. There it is. And it's wonderful. There's no weight there. There's no weak point. And I guarantee you, it'll hold rock solid. So it's again, like Dale and I were talking about, it's all the little things that make the big difference. And I still got my pony staying right here with me. Not because we're making him, but because he wants to. Dale, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dale, yeah. Zadiko. Yeah. Good job, Zadiko. He's only had 30 rides. Yeah, just a youngster, but uh, doing good. And just remember from good beginnings, things tend to come naturally. Like, how old were you when you started riding bulls? Dad? Nine. Huh? Nine. Nine? I invented riding with one hand. <laughs> In one hand? What brand of spurs do you use? Well, at the time, I didn't. I just slick, slick healed everything. Just just slick healed them. Yeah. You could still do it if you needed to. Oh, absolutely. If they had if they had a rodeo somewhere with enough added money. Enough? <laughs> Dale, yeah.